How many Olympians have come out of Charleston, South Carolina that were born in Charleston, South Carolina in track and field? I think it's only one. The Olympics officially underway in Tokyo, Japan. Now athletes across the world, including some from right here in the low country, are taking the biggest stage. Following the Olympic ceremony that kicked off this morning, we're sharing with you the stories of athletes and their reactions as the games begin. News 2 has full coverage of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics now. Johnson, South Carolina, we here! We here! Come on! Raven's got everybody <laughs> pumped right, up. All right, I'm ready. Right, the excitement <laughs> at a fever pitch, not only in Tokyo, but here as well. Uh, the countdown clock hit zero this morning as the Olympic Games are now officially underway. They just lit the cauldron, and we have reaction from athletes across the country with a special edition of news to today uh, happening right now. So over the next 10 minutes here at CountOn2.com, we're going to have team coverage. This is the moment athletes across the country have been waiting for now for five years. But this year, the Olympics looks different than past years due to the pandemic. We have team coverage across the low country for you. News News Forrest Tucker is live at Burke High School with more on our own local Olympian, Raven Saunders. News News Mayor Jenkins laying out everything you need to know about the Tokyo Olympics. But first, let's head over to Storm Team 2 meteorologist David Dixon. He's in for Josh Marthers today with that Olympic forecast. David. Storm Team 2's Tokyo Olympics forecast is brought to you locally by Buchanan Tile and Design. Well, things are looking pretty good for the first full weekend of the Olympics. It's an interesting little factoid here. It's actually going to be fairly similar to what we see here in the low country. It's looking pretty sunny, overall pretty hot, with highs near 90 degrees starting out on Saturday and even into your Sunday. No major chances of rain with those lows in the upper 70s as well. And as far as rain chances, pretty minimal as we head into the end of this weekend, but they might have to postpone some events or at least watch the rain because those rain chances in clouds start to increase early next week. But right now, we'll say 86 degrees out in Tokyo with partly cloudy skies for tomorrow afternoon. Remember the time change there. But many of you are going to be watching here in the low country, maybe outside, cheering on our local athletes and national athletes as well. And it looks to be a beautiful day for it. Temperatures just around 90 degrees for today. And we're going to see the same thing again all throughout this first Olympic weekend. 90 degrees your Saturday and Sunday staying dry and that's the biggest thing we are staying dry for the first time in a long while those downpours we've seen off and on throughout all this week we're not likely going to see them either today or really all throughout our weekend and outside out and about with highs near 90 you can kind of place yourself at the Olympics as they're going to be seeing the exact same temperatures even though visitors won't be actively watching the games all the way halfway across the world well, today is the day many across the world have been waiting for. The 2020 Tokyo Olympics opening ceremony started just before 7 this morning. News 2's Maris Jenkins live with us here in studio. And Maris, these games aren't your traditional Olympics. Right, Octavia, good morning. After a year-long delay, we finally made it to the big day. The 2020 Tokyo Olympics opening ceremony kicked off early this morning, but things will look a bit different this year. Fans will be limited this year due to the pandemic. Only about 950 people allowed inside. That includes VIPs, government officials, and foreign dignitaries. First Lady Jill Biden will be at the Games as the head of the U.S. delegation. New reports show the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee expects about 230 of its athletes to march during the ceremony. Now, months ago, officials made the decision to ban international spectators. But now, Japan is in a state of emergency, so local fans are banned as well. COVID cases have hit nearly 2,000 in just the past week in Tokyo, with nearly 100 of those cases connected to the Games, causing a state of emergency to remain in place. As for today's schedule, here on NBC, you can expect to see archery, a question rowing and shooting with some big names competing for the very first time. Of course, we will have live coverage for you throughout the entire games. 
Thank you, Amaris. Well, there are many athletes who celebrate during these Olympic Games, but here in the Low Country, we're excited to support some of our own. As Charleston's Chris Middleton will be participating in men's basketball, and native Raven Saunders represents Team USA in shot put. News 2's Forrest Tucker is live at Burke High School this morning with more on Raven Saunders' journey to Tokyo. Good morning, Forrest. Hey, good morning, Octavia. Thank you. I am here at Burke High School in Charleston where the journey began for our local shot put star, Raven Saunders. Now, Raven is really great at breaking records. That's her strength here at Burke and at Ole Miss where she went to college. She set new highs for her throwing distance. At Ole Miss, she also won four NCAA championships. This is the second Olympics for Saunders. In 2016, she came up empty-handed, finishing in fifth. This time, she says a medal is coming home. My city, we getting this next one. I'm coming back with a medal for you guys. I just feel like life isn't, hasn't put me through so much and the amount of work. I know, I know for a fact I'm not coming back empty handed. Saunders is not the only athlete from Charleston participating at these Olympic Games. Porter Gouds' Chris Middleton will be playing for Team USA Basketball as well. Now, what a time it has been for Chris Middleton lately. He is a newly crowned NBA champion with the Milwaukee Bucks and will team up with his Bucks teammate Drew Holiday on the team in Tokyo. Here's Middleton after winning the finals just a few days ago. Chris, you did it, huh? Is everything that they have trust in me. Um, you know, each time late in the game, they're telling me to go get the ball, shoot it, pass it, whatever you do, just play with confidence, be aggressive. Uh, and that gives me all the confidence in the world when my teammates have it. Chris Middleton will be in action with Team USA Basketball on Sunday when they play France. Raven Saunders will be in action at the end of next week to see if she will be able to compete for the gold medal. Reporting live at Burke High School in Charleston, I'm Forrest Tucker count on to. Thank you, Forrest. News 2's Carolyn Murray caught up with Raven Saunders before she qualified for her second Olympic Games. Saunders said she is bringing a medal back to the low country. You can hear more of Carolyn Murray's conversation with Raven Saunders on Let's Talk Sunday. Find it and older episodes on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to wear green on Friday in support of Raven when she goes into the finals. Well, keeping track of the team's medal haul, the entire Team USA, that's the most coveted thing we do here is we keep track of the medals, especially those gold medals. News 2's Hannah Power is live with us in studio with more on the history and significant of all that hardware. Hannah? And Brad, you know, the first medals, they will be given out tomorrow for women's air rifle shooting. Very exciting, but it actually wasn't until the second ever games in Paris in 1900 that three medals were given out. Since then, it's become the ultimate sign of athletic ability and years of dedication to sport. According to the International Olympic Committee, the medals must have the five Olympic rings, the Greek goddess of victory, and the official name of the Olympic game on the medal. The gold medal is the heaviest of the three, weighing in at five. 556 grams. This year's medals are designed by Junichi Kawanishi and are intended to resemble rough stones, and the themes are light and brilliant. Something that will be a little bit different this year, the athletes will be putting the medals around their own necks at the award presentations as an added COVID-19 safety precaution. The medals will be brought out on a tray, and then the athletes will take the medal into their own hands. Oh, I can't wait to see it all happen. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are headed away from your computer and you want to just flip back over to News 2 and watch on TV, a special edition of the Today Show coming up at 11 o'clock. Uh, that's just a couple minutes from now as they continue to get us set for the competition. Some of it's already started, by the way. As you know, softball, baseball, mm -hmm. soccer, right. they've already gotten underway uh, with more happening later today. And tomorrow. So we get to see Little Country's own Chris Middleton on Sunday, right? Yep, that's the first yeah. Team USA yeah. game. I don't know if he'll play, but because uh, they got, I mean, it's a pretty deep roster. Right. Um, uh, that's a quick turnaround because they just I left know. yesterday. Imagine that right. time change. And then we were all just talking about the time change oh. and really just being jet lagged. That would be super hard to get yeah. over, I would think. Yeah, well, but. I mean, it's 13 hours ahead, so that's. <laughs> Big job. <laughs> you're basically losing a day, right, when that's you travel right. over there. So. True. But it's going to be awesome nonetheless, and you can watch it all on News 2, and we're going to keep you up to date throughout the games. 
And and make sure while you're here on our website, you might as well get signed up for our mugs. I wish oh, I would brought yeah. them down. All right. Yeah, yeah we're giving away two of those yeah. every day yeah. during the Olympics yeah. at 5:42 and 6:42. And remember, we are the official Olympic station. Thanks yeah. so much for joining us. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>